As magicians, we do the impossible, but we pretty rarely go further than that, to things that are illogical. Most tricks that magicians do have some kind of internal consistency, some kind of internal logic. So if I take this uh, three of clubs and place it, actually, let's do this um, with the backs out. So we'll take the queen of hearts there and fold it inside the three of clubs. If I were to push it through using the card sort of as like a portal, we can turn that queen right side out again. Like that. And you can, of course, see the right side out queen just like that. Now, internally, logically, if we push it back the other way, it should reverse the process, right? Where this turns uh, back out again, just like that. And if we push it through again, it should reverse so that we see the face of that queen. And basically, at any point, you should be able to see almost the entire queen changing as it goes back and forth through the card. But what's more difficult to conceive of, what doesn't really make logical sense, is if I were to push that queen through the three and have it somehow change places with the three. And really, this raises the question of if I push it back this way, does that now change it back into the queen? Or is that now the back of the three? Is it a partial change, or if I somehow manage to change the entire card? Well, if I stop this and freeze it in this moment right here, where it's changed halfway, half face down and half face out, I can show you that it's not just a partial card having changed. In fact, the entire queen is that card wrapped around. And here, on the inside, is that three. This From the Library, the first ever From the Library, is brought to you by Jonathan Safran Thower's Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, and Paul Harris's the Art of Astonishment, Volume 2, which I'm holding upside down because I have lost the dust. For those of you who are magicians, Paul Harris in the 1980s, when everyone else was doing packet tricks with four and eight cards, started ripping up cards and writing on cards and hollowing out decks and doing much more interesting magic with cards as props. And if you haven't picked this up, you really should. It was maybe my first ever magic book, Probably not a good first ever magic book, but this will make your magic better. Similarly, Jonathan Safran Foer's novel, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, pushes the boundaries of what a novel can be. It's got sections with colorful writing, and it's got pictures, and the back of it is a flip book, and there's this whole section in the middle where words are underlined and circled in red, and those aren't just gimmicks, they actually help the novel. So read this. Just pick it up. It will make your magic more interesting. It will make you more interesting. It'll also just be fun. So do it.